One, two. So I have now tried out Cloud Code and it was really fascinating how this works and also it is very cool because you can connect it to MCP servers and because I have recently created an MCP server for WinCC Unified I have connected Cloud Code to the WinCC Unified MCP server and with that, that done I started to let Cloud uh, create a dashboard for me. So additionally, I have taken the WinCC Unified GraphQL server and there we have a schema, well-defined schema and the good documentation and also I have given that to Cloud Code and then I told them uh, to create JavaScript code so that we can easily access the functions of the GraphQL server and which is basically or which are basically based so graphql is based on http core so it's just uh, rest uh, with post requests yeah and additionally we have a websocket connection to get real-time data so we also have subscriptions there to subscribe to tag value changes also that was implemented by cloud but to be honest with that one i struggled a little bit so i had to help help him let's say but anyhow, we did it together, and yeah, and with that done, uh, then I was able to ask about the state of my WinCC Unified system, what kind of tags I have there, if there are any input and output meters and so on, and then I told, or asked <coughs> Cloud to create a dashboard for me, and it has really created a nice looking dashboard, I don't know, I've never seen this before, and yeah, refresh, so also with a login page, and then I log in, and then here we see the live real-time values from our tags in, yeah, displayed as a gauge. And here we see one changing a little bit more frequently, just to demonstrate that this is really done by a subscription. And also I ask for a chart and trend for the input meters and also for the PV power production, which is already gone there. We see it is already very late, so we do not have any sun anymore. Yeah, but with that done, you can easily use Cloud together yeah, with the MCP server for WinCC Unified and, of course, with the GraphQL server of WinCC Unified. And then you can create a um, dashboard with dashboards and, and they are just only based on HTTP, hosted by Node.js in that case. Yeah, it was really nice to play around yeah, and let's see uh, what kind of uh, dashboards we can build with that yeah. and if it is also possible to create a little bit more complex dashboards yeah let's see let's try it out